Hello students of science, let's practice some period and frequency calculations using a YouTube music video. Now, uh, I have a couple windows open here. You're going to want to have a timer and you're going to want to have uh, this assignment open in Google Classroom. What you're going to do is you're going to go on YouTube and you're going to find two music videos. I'm going to pick one that's appropriate to me. I'm going to pick Weird Al's classic, White and Nerdy, which is befitting someone who has a um, Darth Vader action figure right off screen. So you're going to have the video going here, but before we can go with that, we're going to fill out some stuff. The artist, of course, is Weird Al. The song title is White and Nerdy. And then you're going to copy and paste the YouTube link into right here. Now, what we're going to do is you're going to use this timer here, and you're going to count how long it will take to get 10 beats. From there, we're going to be able to calculate both the period and frequency. So we'll let the song go. We'll have the timer here. So I'm going to start. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I just calculated 10 beats gave me 8.394 seconds. So I'm going to type this in here 8.394 seconds. Now, you'll notice that after I typed in 8.394 seconds, it automatically filled in the next one here. Remember, period is the length of time between each beat, so it took that number and just divided it by 10. Essentially, just moved that decimal point one to the left. What we need to do now is we need to calculate the frequency. Frequency, as you remember, is going to be 1 over the period. So, frequency, 1 over the period. In this case right here, I'm looking, my period is point. 8394, so my frequency is going to be 1 divided by, and we're looking for this number right here, 0 0.8394, 0 0.8394, which is going to work out to be, let's do that on the screen, it's going to work out to be 1.19, so my frequency here in hertz is going to be 1.19. So remember, frequency is how many times there are per second, how many cycles per second. So in this particular song, there's going to be about 1.2 beats every second, because the length of time between each one is 0.8394 seconds. Now that you've done it once for one particular song, you're going to repeat it for the second song there. Find a different one. Try If you found a fast one at first, try to do a slow one. If you did a slow one, try to do a fast one. Try to see how you're going to actually work out to have different frequencies and different periods depending upon the tempo of the song. Alright, so now we're going to move on and we're going to do the second tab. So click on the bottom there where it says HKCD period and frequency. And you're going to load up this large screen here. And then you got a link right here that says XKCD frequency. Click on that link right there, and you should open up a document that looks a little bit like this. Now, what you're looking at is uh, what this Die Randall Monroe actually put together. You'll notice each one of these things is kind of flashing uh, at a different frequency, at a different rate. And we're going to calculate the frequency and period for at least 10 of these. So I'm going to give you guys a couple ones here, and I'm going to kind of walk you through it. We're going to look at this first one right here that says one birth. You can see that one is flashing very, very quickly. Now I have that one listed right here, and you'll notice that it says 2, comma 1. That's just kind of a grid format, so you know where to find it. So one birth is 1, 2 over, and 1 down. So that's right there. What we're going to do is, just like we did a moment ago, I'm going to uh, essentially start the timer, and I'm going to count and see how long it takes before I get essentially 10 births. So let's count that in 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I get 4.56. So this thing flashed 4.56 times in 10 seconds. Essentially, if I move the decimal point right there, I'm going to move that back. So instead of 4.56, 4.56 seconds for. 10 beats, that's going to simplify out to 0 0.456 seconds per beat. So that's 0.456 seconds per beat. And because I'm looking at a unit of time here, this is not frequency. Frequency would be beats per second. I'm looking at seconds per beat. So this means that 
0.456 seconds is going to be my period. So I'm going to go right here where it says period, and I'm going to type that in. I'm going to type 0.456 seconds. Now, to calculate frequency, remember that's going to be the inverse. So I'm going to have the equal sign equals 1 divided by that number there, which happens to be C2. So this says that there are approximately 2.19 births every second. So we're going to get a period of 0.456 seconds, that the length of time between each one, and 2.19 is going to be the frequency. It's going to be happening that many times per second. Okay, so let's try one now that has a little bit longer of a period. There's a little bit longer of a time between them. So, uh, unfortunately, I have to talk about him. I'm going to bring up Justin Bieber. We're going to count the period and frequency for how often Justin Bieber... Oh, gains a follower on Twitter. And as you can see, this one is not nearly as fast as the one birth. This one's a little bit slower. So we're going to make this a little bit easier on ourselves. We're not going to sit there and count 10. I'm just going to count 5. So I'm going to pull up my online stopwatch again. And I'm going to start this the moment that I see that thing flash again. We're going to count 5 times. So 1, 2, Three, four, five. So I had five, uh, he gained five followers in uh, 19.39 seconds. So let's tell you that out. So five beats in 19.39 seconds. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to calculate the frequency here, because that's going to be cycles per second. So 5 beats in 19.39 seconds. Work out to be 0 0.258. So it's going to be 0 0.258. And so this is going to be beats per second or cycles per second, which is actually going to be 0 0.258 hertz. So this means Justin Bieber has a follower increase rate of 0.258 hertz. So right here, I'm going to put that in for his frequency, 0 0.258. That's his frequency. And remember, to calculate period, it's going to be 1 divided by that number. So I'm going to do 1 divided by that. That's just, this means that every 3.88 seconds, Justin Bieber gains another follower on Twitter. There, that's the last time I'm going to mention Justin Bieber in science class again. So I've now done that for two of these. I want you guys to do it for eight more.